Hey guys, it's William here. In today's video, we're going to go over Jarvis or Conversion AI and how you can use it to help you rank local SEO. Conversion AI, or better known as Jarvis, and how to use it for local SEO. So for those of you that don't know about Jarvis, this would be a new one, but if you don't know about Jar Jarvis or Conversion AI, I don't know where you've been because, you know, it's pretty, it's a pretty good topic. Most people have been talking about it for a long time. I've talked about it in GME Pros all the time, but we're going to go ahead and dive right in and just show you some things real quick. So give me one second and we'll dive right in. All right. So if you will, we have Conversion AI. This is Conversion AI, right? <clears throat> when you look at Conversion AI, we're going to log in. A lot of times when you're managing your business or whatever you'll kind of be like you know how do i do this how do i do that how do i respond to if you will reviews all that type of shit and a lot of people just kind of don't know well conversion ai makes it extremely 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 simple for you they have a bunch of templates you can use they have a bunch of templates that are specifically for google my business or google business profile you know but let's say for example you have some reviews and you don't know how to respond to them or you don't even know how to how in the hell am i going to write a review to this person you know a response instead of it just being thank you for your reply you know how are you going to actually come up with a really really good review um and we're going to go ahead and show you some examples of this if you guys have any questions make sure to comment below and um i will show you some things the link for jarvis is actually in the bottom as well if you want that but let's just take for example and i'll show you my screen in a second roofer in orlando florida right <clears throat> and i'm just looking for somebody that we could use as an example so for example if we were to take RBS construction, right? They got 129 reviews. They're given these generic half butt responses where it's thank you, Vivian. Thank you. Good review. Blase, blase. But if I wanted to actually give a, you know, decent review, I could go over to their templates, right? Go to templates and go review Let's go to our dashboard templates and go into review responder. And what we do is once we're in review responder, you know, right here and you'll see it. Is we type in, let's just say, for example, this is the name of the company. Let's say the reviewer's name is this Brian guy. And instead of leaving this generic, thank you so much, Brian, we're going to actually leave a decent review. We take, okay, it's a five-star review. And we'll copy his entire review. And then we we'll want to place it in here. And then go ahead and generate AI content. And then what's going to happen is Jarvis is going to essentially come up with a review response like it just did. And the review response essentially says, hi, Brian, thank you for your great review of RBS. Glad to hear that William, their person, was able to provide a seamless experience for me. So basically you have a whole paragraph here, right? Instead of having a generic response like they originally had, which we can once again show you, but they, um, just simply had originally had thank you so much brian two weeks ago that was their response now if they were using conversion ai they would have this really cool paragraph of a review response okay so that's just the first thing we can use this for and then if we go back into conversion ai or jarvis if you go under templates, there are a lot of times that you don't know, for example, you know, what type of post should I do on my Google My Business posts? Well, we have that right here. We can create a what's new post. We can create an events post. We can create a products post. We can do an offer post. 
all types of posts that you can do when you're inside of your, if you will, your business profile and you want to make a post, let's say, for example, I came here and I wanted to make a post or add a picture. I just hit add post and I could take and put in the description, a photo, what button call to action I want it to go to. And I can use Jarvis to write a post for me. What's it going to be about? You know, let's say in this case, it's going to be roofing and construction or construction and roofing. You know, mm -hmm. on here, what is the name of the company? It's RBS Construction and Roofing Professional and let it sit back and do the work. Now, I'm not saying that you just take Jarvis and you can use it for every. You need to take Jarvis and use it and then go through it and say, OK, is this good? Is this exactly what I want? You know, for example, on this one, just for an example, business announcement. We are a construction company that specializes in roofing, hardscaping, drywall, installation, painting, and more. If you need these services, please call us. And that's an announcement post, okay? If you wanted to do different types of GMB posts or Google business profile posts, you can do the same thing as well. There are just multiple things that you can use Jarvis for. Okay, so besides that, Jarvis also, if you wanted to go into it, also will help you write descriptions and titles for your blog posts, right? Your home page, your product pages, service pages. So if I didn't know, for example, what type of, I'm a real estate company, I write in my description. This is the description of my company, my keyword I'm going after. Um, let's say near me, right? <clears throat> and let it generate the content and we'll sit back and relax. I'm going to show you what it comes up with real quick. So for example, meta description is as a real estate agency in Massachusetts, we're dedicated and it's a very long detailed, if you will, description and it's perfect, right? You no longer have to sit here and wonder like, what am I going to write? If you get, if you will, writer's block, it will help you. So, it saves so much time. You're absolutely right, Chris. I um, appreciate the comment. If you guys would like to sign up for Jarvis and want a trial, just use my link below and we'd love to help you out with that. I also have um, my Jarvis or conversion AI, if you will, SOP or standard of operating procedure. If you want that, make sure to comment below. And if once again, you have not subscribed to the channel, make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you turn on notifications anytime we go live. I hope this little short, if you will, tutorial helped you out. Um, Jarvis is great for handling things. All of our VAs, we use them for everything we're doing as far as on-page SEO and content writing. <clears throat> I'll do another video on actually writing a blog and a press release using Jarvis because it makes it a thousand times easier. And I use a very standard operating procedure and how I lay out my blogs as well. And, uh, but for today, <coughs> excuse me, but for today, that's all we have. Appreciate you guys. Once again, you have a great day and <coughs> be blessed. If you have any questions, just make sure to drop them below and I will get to them. Thank you. Have a great day. I have so many SEOs that hate me and say that I'm still in their methods. They bitching and cry, labeling me SEO Black Hatter was a nobody. Now I'm at the top, most wanted, most loved, bad business owners, and hated by most SEO opponents. You think you're an SEO god, but you're an SEO fraud. Guess I'm the SEO devil, shouting fuck the SEO guys. White hat SEO doesn't make sense, going with the goody goodies. Up in heaven, dressed in white, I like black tins, I like black hoodies. Fake SEOs up there, probably have me on some real straight shit. No sleeping all day. No getting my dick licked Hanging out with the goody two shoes Lounging in paradise, whole shit Fuck that shit, I wanna use CT on Get some green geo grids Homie, we get it, you think you're the greatest SEO